Hey boys and girls, it is now week two, and uh, just in case you missed last week, uh, my name is Keith, and I am a Magic the Gathering misprint collector. I collect misprints, oddities, test prints, all those weird cards that you might have heard of. Okay, now last week I covered cards that are called miscuts, but now that it's still only week two, I need to cover just one more type of fundamental misprint. And those types of cards, they are called crimps. Now, uh, they're kind of difficult to show you, so I'm probably just going to drop in some graphics. There you go, check it out, see? Now, if you look at the top of that card on the left, and you look at the bottom of that card on the right, you're going to see some weird ridges on the top of the card, or the bottom of the card. And, um, see, now what happens is, uh, let's just drop another little graphic there, check it out, see? These uh, old packs that I happen to pull from my own collection, if you take a good look at the, the way that the pack is designed, you'll see that it gets compressed there to you know seal the pack, and um, there's those weird kind of ridges there at the top and the bottom. See, now that kind of shows you that um, what can happen is a card is supposed to be nice and perfectly centered in the pack, but that doesn't always happen. So what happens is you get a card or two and it's just you know not quite perfectly centered and then it actually gets caught in, in the, the, the compressing of the pack and then it ends up with those weird ridges on it. Um, now this is something that has been happening since the beginning of Magic the Gathering and uh, there is not a single set, there's not a single set that uh, is not immune to this. Uh, myself personally, I even own some Power 9 that were crimped like that, and uh, you know, they still happen today. Uh, the only cards that you are not going to find uh, having something like that wrong with it would be cards that appear in a starter. Now, with the exception of very few weird promo cards, just about everything can be packaged in a way like this that will end up being, um, you know, screwed up like that. So, um, you know, these kinds of things they do just happen randomly. So now if you watched last week and I showed you the uh, miscut cards, if you find one, you find several uh, with crimps, it's just completely random. So you never know. You might find it, uh, you might find one or two in a box and then you might go two or three years before you actually um, open up one. Um, due to their commonality, they're not especially rare and especially valuable, um, especially when we're talking about you know misprints. Uh, they don't happen very often, but in the world of misprints, they really are one of the most common types of mistakes. Um, and uh, so the value on them isn't huge. And uh, also I wanted to tell you that um, due to uh, most judges uh, agreeing, uh, you're going to have a hard time actually playing with these cards um, when it comes to um, actually you know, putting them in your deck. Some judges will tell you that you can, some judges will tell you that you can't. So of course, if you decide you want to play with such cards in an official tournament, you need to check with a judge first, as always. That's the best thing to do and in any situation. If you have any doubts, you need to consult a judge. But, um, you know, this is not as one of the more popular types of misprints out there. Um, if it's a card that isn't very popular, I mean, we're not talking anything spectacular. But if it's something that's really awesome, you know, like a dual hand or power nine or something like that, I've seen crimps of, you know, the more expensive cards, and people really tend to like those. So, I mean, you know, it's all about um, uh, personal preference. Um, okay, now that I've covered this, um, I just want to tell you a few things. Uh, from this point forward, we're going to be covering some really awesome stuff. I mean, you know, just week one, week two, I had to cover those types of misprints. I mean, Seriously, those are, the ki those are the kinds of cards you're going to see really often. So from this point forward, I'm going to be showing you some really uh, amazing stuff and some really weird stuff. I mean, just strange things that you might even have in your own personal collection and don't even know it because I have some that are just weird and trivial. We're going to cover that. And another thing that I want to make uh, um, clear to you is that um, I have a written article on uh, the misprints that I cover here every week and it's on a website called eternal-central.com uh, there's a little promo there at the beginning of the video so you can check it out that way and um, you know so I'm going to show you a few cards that I don't show on the videos 
on that website. So you'll get kind of a mix and you know uh, a better feel for uh, what is out there, and you know you can just see something a little bit different. Um, you know, so just written form, whatever your preference is. You know, you, you got one, you got other. Some of you will want to watch both. I also need to tell you that, you know, feel free to subscribe because things are only going to get weirder. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button, do all the stuff that everyone else on YouTube will beg you to do. Uh, but also, don't be afraid to ask me questions. Uh, my email address will be at the end of the video. And um, that would be far better than leaving me questions that are in the comments because there's going to come a point where I have several videos and then I won't, you know, I won't see it very easily. And um, those questions that you ask me are, are a great way for me to dictate what I'm going to be showing you in the future. And of course, I'm a collector, so no matter how many videos I do, I'm always going to be that type of person that wants misprints. So if you have something really strange and unusual, I just might want it. So uh, also, don't be afraid to ask me. And um, we, we only have more weird and strange things to come, so please stay tuned, and I will see you soon. Alright, now just in case you missed it, here we go. See, check that out.